The KD community is pleased to announce the release of KD Applications 18.12. This release brings exciting new features and bug fixes to many of the popular KD applications. Dolphin, KDE's file manager, will now handle access to your phone via USB much better, as our MTP implementation has been rewritten, leading to fewer crashes and a more stable connection. Reading files via SFTP is now up to 20 times faster. Dolphin is now able to display thumbnails for LibreOffice documents and app images. You can now close Dolphin with Ctrl and W if there is only one tab left open. The tool to reduce red eyes in our image viewer GwenView has received various usability improvements. The flexible text editor Kate will now automatically sync the directory of the active document with the embedded terminal. For similarly named files, Kate now also shows the full path when using the tab switcher. We have also improved our default settings, which means that the line numbers will now be on by default, and the powerful text filter plugin is enabled by default. You can now repeat the last calculation done through pressing the equal sign multiple times in KCalc. With 18.12, emoji characters are now fully supported in console. If you have a mouse that has back and forward buttons, you can use them to switch between tabs. Kmail 18.12 ships with a much anticipated feature. A unified inbox can now display all your mail in a single inbox. And in usual KDE style, you can also configure the inbox just like you want, as you are for example able to exclude a particular account or mix other folders as you want to. Our document viewer Ocular has a new typewriter annotation tool, allowing you to write text anywhere. The hierarchical table of contents has also been improved and you can now expand and collapse everything or just a specific section. The ability to sequentially number screenshots has been added to Spectacle, our screen capturing tool. Applications 18.12 is a major release for Cantor a KDE frontend to mathematical software. You can now enter new command entries at arbitrary places in the worksheet, can write entries in Markdown, and the currently calculated command entry is highlighted. Read through the change log to find out even more about the new exciting features for Cantor. Yuri Hornoivan has been working tirelessly and managed to port KFind, KMplot and Audio CD to KDE Frameworks 5 allowing them to use the full power of the new framework and ensuring that these applications will continue to work on as many systems as possible in the future. Localize, the KD application that assists you in translation of your programs, gained basic support for Pology, which can check the syntax and glossary of your translations. The navigation has also been simplified with tab ordering and multi-tab opening. All these features and bug fixes would not have been possible without the voluntary commitment of our contributors from around the whole world. If you want to help us create the best free and open source software out there, consider joining us. You can find more information on community.kde.org slash get underline involved. Please also consider making a donation at kde.org slash donate to fund our infrastructure and allow our developers to attend conferences. Thanks! We hope that you enjoy using KDE software.